Steven Kudan, okay, we're at a sports store here with the great Timothy Desert Storm Bradley. Good to see you, sir. Just we're here at the Hall of Fame, man. I know uh, Bernardo's getting inducted, brother. Just tell me about you know your uh, your colleague there and just uh, you know what you learned from him uh, throughout these years. You know what? I I've never seen anybody in the sport work as hard as Bernardo Osuna, man. Um, I admi I really do admire him, man. His worth ethic. Uh, his uh, expertise, his excellence, every single day, every time he's out there, man, uh, you know, whether he's reporting, uh, whether he's doing play-by-play, -play, whether he's hosting, man, the Duke is like MVP, man. He can do it all. Um, and never complains, uh, always on task. I mean, he does everything right, man. Um, I just hope that this gives, gives – uh, and more notoriety with the, the important people that support a boxing um, to, you know, someday he can pick up one of these, man, because I'm letting y'all know, man, he's been a part of this sport close to 30 years, man, and blood, sweat, and tears all the way to the, to, to, you know, to the end, man, and he's still trucking. So I, I just hope that the right people see this and he can get his name inducted into to the International Boxing Hall of Fame because, man, he, he's a hard worker and he deserves it. Man. He needs his flowers, man. He's, yeah. and, and he's bilingual as well, which All the you know, above, he kills bro. it on both. It's hard, bro. It's hard. Yeah. Um, so I admire that, man. I admire anybody that grinds, man, like that. So, yeah. That's awesome, brother. Uh, man, I just want to get into boxing stuff. I know... You know, uh, you, you addressed it. You know what I mean. The you know the kind of the, the backlash from uh, your prediction on Ryan. Just uh, I, I haven't completely seen any interview of you since. I know you've done a what? few, but just what? what just when you for, say for, first, what, what, What's the backlash? I, I don't I don't understand the backlash. Or I, I guess I'm just saying you because know like the, the the father saying what he did like like uh, you know. Like, you know, look, we 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 have our opinions, man. Just like I've had my opinion about Ryan Garcia, they have their opinion about me. It's cool. There's nothing wrong with that, man. Um, well, the fact that it's a little bit vulgar in a sense, like it, it's a little, I mean, dude, the name, some of the things that they say, bro, I mean, bro, come on, come on. No, I'm not doing that, Ryan Garcia. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not happening, dog. Um, I'm talking about the, the stop yeah, commenting. Suck my, yeah, right. bro, come on, stop. Stop, bro. Stop. Especially in these times, stop, bro. Like, for real. Anyways, that, uh, but the father can say whatever he wants. The, you know, the father's going to back his son. His father's going to back his son. Um, I've said some things about him in the past that they didn't like. So, it's fair game. I mean, you know what I mean? He won the fight. Regardless of what I think, he won the fight. And... So now they're on a high horse and they're able to say whatever they want to say. But I'm going to tell you guys this. It's one fight. One fight, Ryan Garcia and your team is one fight. Congratulations. There are going to be many more fights. We shall see where he ends up at the end of the day. So you may got the last laugh. You feel you may got the last laugh. However, just wait. Future? Oh, yeah. We're going to see who gets the last laugh in the future at the end of the day. Because the way you moving, you got past Haney. Good for you. Be a little bit different when you get somebody, get try to get past somebody else. That's just as serious and just as skillful as you are. So, I, I look, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to keep it at that, man. I'm going to keep it at that. But keep saying, keep talking about me. Keep your name in my mouth. I don't give a damn. All the fans out there that, that, that's talking about, oh, you said you'll retire. I'm going to let y'all know right now. This is how stupid a lot of the fans are. Just dumb. Straight up dumb. All right? English language. Simple. Some, I, I, I failed English. I failed English. All right? Hated English. But now y'all know I write. That's what I do now. So I've gotten a lot better, you know, with words and, 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 and my English. Just put it that way. I said might as well. Might means consider. Might doesn't mean I will. So you guys don't understand that because you guys are too dumb and you hear whatever you want to hear. You know what I'm saying? So that situation right there, I'm not retired. I'm not, I'm not moving away. I don't think I should. 
You want to know why? Because you need me in this game. All right? You need me to shed light on these fighters, bro. You need me to talk about these fighters in, 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 in a fashion that I talk the way that I do about the fighters. Because I've done this 30 years plus and still ticking, bro. And still ticking. And you can't tell me nothing, bro. Nothing at all. You see that? You just don't get that just because you laced up the gloves. You get that because you were somebody in the sport. Whether you believe I was legendary or not, only the legends in the sport gets one of these at the end of the day. That's what they get. And you see how you see I got the five up? Five-time world champion at that. None of this, none of this vacancy belts or anything like that. It's called taking it from the champion. Never fought a vacant title. Never went up against a vacant title. Took them from the champions. Different level here we're talking about, guys. Okay? And we fought. I fought tough fighter after tough fighter after tough fighter. Not this hand-picked stuff where you can manipulate your way yourself to the top. No. Tough opposition after tough opposition. Go, go watch my record after I, after I won the world title. Anyways, enough about myself. Moving forward. Look what you got for me. What else? So, you just you said that, you know... We'll see what happens here on out. You know, yeah, you got past Devin Haney. Good for him. I, I feel like Devin Haney at the time was considered no worse than one or two in the division. So do you think maybe that wasn't the case after all? And that maybe these other guys like a Pitbull, Subriel, uh, Teofimo Lopez, these other guys at 140, or now he's saying he's going to move to look, I didn't, 147. I, I, look, look, I didn't think that Tank, I didn't think that Haney, let's put it this way, I didn't think that Haney was the number one guy at 140. I didn't think he was number one guy. Not at all. No, and that's never came out of my mouth that he's the number one 140. No. no. There's there's other guys. I, I, I thought it was wide open. There's so much talent at 140. It's wide open for anybody for the taking. All they got to do is go in there and execute at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Because they're that talented. And there's a mix of not just one style. There's, there's you know, rough housing styles. There's, there's tough, gritty, volume punchers, heavy punchers. I mean, there's so many different styles at 140. It's hard to tell. It's to say, oh, this pure boxer can win and beat all these guys? No. No, not at all. So, it's wide open for the taking. And it's still wide open for the taking right now. You know what I'm saying? You still got Tiafimo Lopez that's out there. All right? So, it's a it's a lot of, a lot of talent out there, man. And these guys just got to duke it out at the end of the day. Duke it out. Do you think... Ryan said he wanted to go to 147. Do you think he goes after he has the big to go names to 147. right away? He has to go to 147 because it's, it's not going to be this catchweight thing. At 140, he didn't even make the 140 limit to fight for the belt. He came in at 43. Purposely came in at 43. People, like I told you, to gain an advantage. Okay? During the course of the fight. See, it's about what he didn't want to give up. All right? Anybody that makes, that makes weight that's a fighter... That has dropped weight, bro. You know that those last three or four pounds where you drained and you fatigued, bro, and you and you dehydrated, bro, it like takes your soul, man. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want to feel that. He felt that already once. He felt it when he fought against Tank. So if we giving him, if we giving him a pass for for fighting Tank, being dehydrated, being low, and saying that oh he wasn't at his very best then why can't we say the same thing about him coming in four pounds heavier and having an advantage towards Haney? Tell me, people. Tell me. There's weight classes for a reason, okay? One. Two, some weight classes are three pounds, three to seven pounds to the next weight class. What, 115, 118, 122? Come on, do I need to keep going? Three pounds, you understand that? And so, and if you, you also need to understand this. If you come in three pounds overweight, the commission won't allow you to lose weight. They're going to say, negotiate, negotiate some terms to make the fight happen. But if he came in 2.5, 2.8, or something like that, he would have been forced to make weight. He came in at 3.2 purposely so he didn't have to make the weight. All right? At the end of the day. So, for me, that's it's just me. Ryan, you get... Partial credit, B. Partial credit. You don't get a whole lot of credit from me. You get partial credit. Now, if my opinion matters to you, it is what it is at the end of the day. But I'm not a fool, man. I'm not a fool at the end of the day. I know what I'm talking about. Congratulations on your victory. You pull, you, you got it done. Good job. Good job, Pops. And, and Pops, you can, keep, you, can, you can definitely keep 
your name or my name in your mouth. You definitely can. Because trust me, you're gonna be you're gonna be eating your words one day. And when you do, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna go like this. I'm just gonna go like this. That's that's what I'm gonna do at the end of the day. So what else you got for me, man? As a fighter, just to, to leave that alone, just do you feel the same? I remember talking to other fighters who now commentate and then kinda come back to us and they're like, Man, fighters get upset about your opinion and stuff and kind of, of course. and and he kind of is like, I remember being a fighter journalist talking about me and me feeling a certain way to them, and now I'm on the other side of it. Do you feel that as well, or, or were you not kind of that guy as a, as a fighter? I don't really remember you no, responding to No, I was, that, I was that guy. Okay. I was the same as everybody else was. All the fighters getting hurt. Dan Raphael, I couldn't stand him back in the days. Hated Dan Raphael, but you want to know something? Dan Raphael made me better. He was like, he slaps with his punches. I was just like, man, I'm about to turn these punches over for Dan Raphael. You know what I'm saying? I just had a guy that, that trained, uh, what was his name, uh, Camarena. He said that I was the hardest puncher he ever been in the ring with, right? And I'm like, man, with my feather fist, how am I the hardest puncher he ever been in the ring with? But I, that was for Dan Raphael. You want to know why? Because Dan told me that I had, I didn't turn my shots over, and I made sure to turn them shots over, and they did some damage. I was able to hurt them. So you need guys. You need guys. All these yes man fans are going to be yes man people. That's what they are. You know, they're fans of yours. You can do anything. You can fart. they like, oh, my God, he farted. It's good. You know what I mean? You can do anything, right? They're the biggest, your biggest supporter, right, at the end of the day. But me being an analyst, me being a fighter, bro, my criticism and the way I come, it should mean something to you because I'm not faking it, bro. I've been there. I've done that. And from my experience, right, wrong, or indifferent, I'm saying what I truly believe inside, okay? That's it. You can hate it, you can love it, I'ma say it, and how you perceive it, that is on you, not on me. So, when your fans attack me, I appreciate it. See, that's the difference. I appreciate it. When you attack me, I appreciate it. You know why? Because all you're doing is building me at the end of the day. And what fans don't realize that I can take their shit and why I can take their shit is because I've already been down this road once before. It was in 2012. I don't have to say much more about it. 2012. I've already been down this road. I go I go against the world 7 days a week. Twice on Sunday. The world don't bother me because I know who I am. You understand that? I'm comfortable within my skin. I'm comfortable walking around these folks. You know, I'm comfortable around walking in, in anywhere and somebody laughing at me because I'm like, man, you miserable. You for sure miserable. But you see how I'm walking. You see what I'm wearing. You see how I'm looking. I'm just fine, baby. I'm just fine. So say what you want. Say that you hate me. Say that I suck. Say that I'm trash. Say that I'm whatever you want to say. However, there's other people that are above you that think differently. And those are the ones that I'm pleasing. My wife, my kids, my daughters, my family, my mother, my father. I'm making them proud. And my boss.